Okay, so um, I had another topic in mind and I really wanted to talk about this. So um, I'm just going to talk about it. Um, yeah, so I don't know, but these days I have been coming across a lot of opinions on the internet and I thought this would be like a good thing to make a video on. So um, yeah, I think like subjectivity is like a very weird topic like it's a weird issue because um people apply subjectivity to everything until you know things don't suit their um you know needs or wants and things don't serve them and then they judge everyone else i think it's like a really weird thing um if you see like i don't know who's problematic um, Grimes these days is really problematic like if you've heard of the singer Grimes she's Elon Musk's girlfriend wife um, people call her different things she's technically his girlfriend they're not married but they have a baby together and she's just like so um, I don't know like problematic these days she just like changes her views all the time and she isn't consistent about many things and like I have been listening to her since I was in school and it's just like so weird to me that like she would just like you know change so fast because she is like okay she's a woman in her 30s firstly and also like she always stood by what she believed in and you know she was like anti-elitist anti you know capitalist and now she's kind of become silent on many things and uh, it just feels very hypocritical. So there's like, besides her, there's also like a lot of YouTubers who are just like really, I don't know, confusing in the way they present themselves. Like they'll say one thing, but they'll actually, you know, act out another thing and they won't have the same kind of views all the time. So um, yeah, I find that really weird. And yeah, it's just it's just strange, like, you know, you can only tell your opinions to people to a point where it doesn't offend them and it doesn't, like, discourage them from, from, you know, believing in what they believe in. I think it's obviously, like, you shouldn't offend anyone, but you should also, like, be able to have, like, a good conversation about something and not feel um, like you're hurting someone's feelings constantly because, you know, it's good to, like, um, you know cross a few boundaries sometimes because if you don't like get out of your comfort zone you know you're not gonna like have a good discussion at any point you know you're not gonna move ahead that's how we're developing that's how we're moving ahead as a human race is because we're all talking and changing ourselves like i don't think i'm the same as my parents i don't think i'm the same as my generation so i just feel like it's a it's a weird topic and yeah it's strange like for example PewDiePie like people either love him or hate him I like him honestly I do like him I don't think he's super problematic I just feel like he has said some things that can easily offend people in the past but I don't think he meant them like he's a very he, he jokes a lot about things so yeah, I don't, I don't think that he necessarily meant what he said. Um, but you should be careful with, with th the things you say and the jokes you make. Um, and like his, his wife who left YouTube because she was, you know, constantly being attacked. I think that's like a very interesting topic too because, you know, she wasn't planning on being a YouTuber. She was planning on being... You know, just like she, she, she was just like basically his fan who started dating him, and she kind of got into YouTube, and she even called herself Cutie Pie, which is like, and you know, like an offset from his name. I just, I just, and then she left YouTube. You know, so I just find it weird that like you know she found it so toxic that she left because she initially just like wanted to be, you know, inside this whole culture of YouTube. Hmm. So it, it just like comes down to like, where do you stop your discussion? And where do you start your discussion? Like, do you start your discussion at a point where no one can be heard? And is there a point where no one can be heard? 
and no one can be offended in any way or is there always going to be something that offends someone so you should just have the the most you know in depth conversation as possible even if it's messy hmm and talking about like politics these days like it's just like really 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 messy right so no one wants to talk about their opinions on things because someone's going to get offended someone's going to start a fight someone's going to get really angry so i think we should like question these things because if we don't we're going to be really confused about where we are ourselves like as individuals you know once we know what we believe in and what we value then we can start having conversations with others so i think it's really confusing it's really it's really you know you know there there's two sides to it there's there's two sides to it but first you have to understand your own side then you can understand the other person's side i think um, also these days there's this like weird you know obviously like we've known this for some time but um people like to portray themselves in you know um a different light than they already are and then once people find out that they don't believe in that thing and they believe something else it becomes really really you know politicized and people fight about it and people get angry about it you know that person lied um maybe some people say some things just because they don't want to offend people and just want to like present maybe maybe you know if someone doesn't like cakes they say they don't say anything about cake so they say well you know i cakes are all right just like you know generally and then later on they might refuse a cake at a party or something like that and say cakes are disgusting um and then offend someone um i think that initially they were just saying saying that just to like not offend anyone and not have a discussion about it because once you open the discussion you're just like opening the the flood gates right you're just like waiting for someone to start a discussion on why you don't believe something so yeah i think i faced a lot of that to myself so yeah it's a, it's a diff- difficult question it's a difficult subject i think we should all have a conversation about this because i f- i feel like a healthy amount of okay i i i seriously believe in moderation so like a moderate amount of discussion about this thing would be so healthy for everyone because everyone is here just like believing whatever they want to believe and sitting in their own boxes and not questioning anything and then there's people also who are you know i'm not saying everyone is sitting inside like a box but like there are so many people who are and they're just like not looking or thinking or talking about others so it's important for others to also do that and themselves to do that because once we once we start talking things will change yeah so has anyone tried like an oreo sandwich cuz they're so weird like i feel like you can either love them or hate them like an oreo ice cream sandwich um so i wanted to know know people's views about that so cuz i was thinking about that which is why i thought about subjectivity so um give me your opinions because like i like it but like it's also very thick and it just tastes like a big oreo that's cold and it's a bit weird because of that so i think that like we could have interesting conversations about subjectivity and oreo ice cream sandwiches or you know ice cream sh- ice cream sandwiches in general like do you like as ice cream sandwiches or do you find them gross because like that whole savory i guess you would call it like with sweet and and cream you know with the ice cream some people just really hate it oh my god do you hate mint chocolate or do you love mint chocolate because you can either love it or either hate it so i want your opinion on that too and yeah that's that's basically it um thanks for watching this video 
please subscribe see you in the next one bye